Fire deployed! Target eliminated. Area. Oh. I'm getting killed. Threatened. Inbound to checkpoint. Intercept. Target eliminated. Itch yet. Switching location. Nasty. Nope. Yeah. Boys and girls, this is the game thoughts. Today we are gonna be tackling X Defiant. Played a few hours of the multiplayer final beta test over the weekend. I played the last one previously as well have a lot of thoughts about not just the game but some of the things that they're using in the game and characters and all that i'll save that for later on in the video but we tried most of the weapons um i was not vibing with most of the different operators and stuff they had so i stuck with the phantoms mostly you will see a little bit of the echelon gameplay in here as well Two, one. Find, take, and hold the capture zone. I'm getting chills. You're locked in, Phantom. Keep up that focus. Friendly capture. Capture zone detected. That's a kill. Definitely didn't mind the gravity shield that you got here. It's definitely useful for making plays. And that is the most positive thing I can say for the game as of right now, is that the play potential and the team play potential is definitely there. Uh, but there is nothing new to the game. All of the abilities are the same old thing, kind of stale. I am never a big fan of having certain operators that can heal themselves while others can't. I'm not a big fan of the uh, fire damage that certain ones can do. That just seems kind of silly. Um, but that being said, Ubisoft itself is in a crazy place. Uh, the shooter industry is in a crazy place. And not everything is all bad. Um, but just like I, I talk about a lot is there's just no realism really left. Uh, but... Before we talk about that, like I said, we'll get into that kind of stuff in the negatives later. Um, is there anything else positive I can say about the game? Is it fun? Yeah, for the most part, it's pretty fun. Uh, does it have potential to be something for an extended long period of time? Yeah, I could definitely see that. You know, they'll be adding more operators and more things to it, and people really love the skins, which I can't stand, and, and that's definitely going to be uh, baked into the game. So, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. There is definitely a place for it, because it is less uh, made for children than everything else that's being pushed in, with, like, on us right now. So, that in itself is a good thing, but everything that is good about it really... It's like, this is the best we can do. The game already feels old across the board. It feels like stuff we've already played. Um, and, like, classic feel is good, but not always. And, like, this is definitely in, in a bad way for the most part. Like, it feels dated already. And some people are fine with that. Most people that play free-to-play games in general don't care that much about, about things the way that uh, people that pay money and always have um, do. And that's just a fact of the... Of the thing so if you'll pay for skins and you'll pay 30 40 dollars for nothing you don't really care about quality just an opinion but hey you gotta you gotta jab a little bit you know the game is fine but it's a ubisoft game and look at this shit like inclusion oh it's a ubisoft game with tom clancy characters Fighting nerds and Hispanic people from Far Cry? That's just weird, man. Uh, the concepting in itself, like, I get it. You get a bunch of assets. They're recycled. They're easier to use. 
you have all these things sitting around. Let's tape something together, make a free-to-play product we can tap skins on, and we can use all the names of our popular franchise. There's no reason why Ghost Recon and Echelon can't be in a game together, but we don't even have campaigns, or games for that matter, for most of the franchises we're seeing uh, on here. And if we do, there's some multiplayer ripoff or, or some bastardization, and that's exactly what this is, is a bastardization of everything Tom Clancy. It's fine, like Far Cry, it went, went down the shitter with six anyway. Um, fully went out the window with any kind of realistic feel. Yes, you would go crazy and stuff with Far Cry 5 and all that, and it, they did progressively get less realistic, and they've always had fantastical things, but they were grounded in the gunplay. It felt realistic. It wasn't like a bad RPG. That being said, once again, not all bad. It just doesn't make sense for all these characters. But... The game is good. The game is playable. I'd even say it's really good for being free. Just nothing new. But, and uh, that's okay. That's okay. But. I'm going to let you guys watch some gameplay here for a second. And I'll be right back with you with more to talk about. Enjoy. Changing location. Get there. Phantom. Keep up that fight. It's on the eight. Mission accomplished. That's how Shadow Team rolls. Hostiles are having a bad day. Got them. Changing location. Get there. That 
That's how Shadow Team does it. Now, I gotta say, the biggest issue for the game is definitely going to be the player base. Everyone, not everyone, but a big chunk of the players, at least half of your team, almost every time, is going to be trying to play it like it's Call of Duty. You see people jumping across every corner, and they can't lay down and drop shots, so they're exploiting that even more. And that's just immersion breaking. It, it doesn't make it fun you guys all look like idiots when you do it you're getting shot anyway and i can highly recommend the mp5 and the m16 to combat that it cuts through the uh lag pretty good whenever they're jumping around and everything um just the way people play the game is actually going to be detrimental to the game itself but that's just multiplayer online gaming nowadays anyway so they're gonna do the cheese so if you don't if you want to play anything semi-realistic you're not gonna find it here once again even though we have all of the most realistic teams and guns are real and all that people want to play it like a uh, halo but they don't want to play halo so here we go here we are that being said the guns i gotta say the mp5 is awesome like i said the m16 was really good sniping felt great even the saw like lmgs aren't really done well in most games even the lmgs are fun to use in here everything feels like it can kill somebody there's definitely some uh caveats like i don't i wasn't really feeling the m4 that much but the m16 was great um time to kill it's not egregious for nowadays but it's still too high for humans I don't necessarily care for, like I was saying a minute ago, we shouldn't have someone in a tank top taking 30, 40 bullets, and they damn sure shouldn't be able to heal themselves. That's stupid. And uh, it kind of makes it feel silly and unbalanced whenever you win a firefight, and because someone's using a cleaner operator, they burn you out after you're already running away. It's just dumb to me. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things where it's like, the game's at odds with itself because it's like we have things in in place to make it a skill check but then they have other things where it's like this is a complete crush for people that aren't good and then uh they have all these tactical operators with mixed with people that don't make sense but at the end of the day anytime we can uh take some people out with twitch in their name it's a good time not really a fan of shields, not a fan of abilities, I'm not a fan of most of the things that are going on in the game, but what I can appreciate is a lot of the stuff does come down to being a better shot. Um, they have some work to do, you know, like every other game, every other shooter that comes out, you have some people that take more shots than others. You definitely have some occasions where you're dumping mags into someone, or bullets I should say, it's not a full mag most of the time. You're dumping bullets in somebody and they definitely just like shoot you once or twice and it's like what the hell's going on. That's fine. Stuff happens. Everything is online. People, most people are on crappy Wi-Fi anyway now. So what can you do? Overall, I think the game is fine. But now we're going to get into the real negatives. You take Ghost Recon. You take The Division. You take echelon people from Splinter Cell and you downgrade every single bit of the engines for anything they've been on, downgrade the look of them, downgrade the players, downgrade the sound engine, downgrade the gunplay, downgrade the realism, and then you throw in the nerds from Watch Dogs and then just some random Hispanic people from some fake country from far cry and like that's a game it's lazy at best but it's just like this is absolutely the bastardization of anything that ubisoft was famous for like it's a complete middle finger to tom clancy fans and fans of realistic stuff in gaming um just and like it's just another generic wannabe Overwatch, which I think it's better than Overwatch just by proxy of it has better guns and it looks semi-real. But, like, we got people in floral polka dot jean jackets running around fighting operators and, like, w with cloaks. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, nothing makes sense anymore. Nothing actually feels like it's in the world. Um, 
or like in a consistent cohesive world like it's just a complete mashup and at the end of the day not many people care about that kind of thing anymore but if you're going to put things with legacy in games you could at least respect it and i feel like the tom clancy legacy especially has just been completely disrespected just because people that buy skins don't like realism and that's really how it feels nowadays and uh, there's nowhere for players to go that want realistic games there's nowhere for players to go excuse me unless you want to play on mouse and keyboard on a pc where more cheaters are at i'm talking about console players here console gaming am i going to play this yes am i disappointed in it no not really because it's what i thought it was going to be it's just disappointing that this is where we are where this is actually being considered something good right now because of how stale shooters are. A lot more gameplay coming, shorts, all kinds of stuff. We do reaction videos, we do streaming. I play all the genres. I've been gaming since the 90s. I absolutely love it. Shooters themselves are just in a crazy place, but as long as there's something going on in the shooter space that I can stand, we're gonna bring some kills to you because the trigger finger does get itchy and I still have my moments. But everything just kind of feels phony. Everything just feels like it's meant for people to run away from you. I'm not a big fan of the high, the higher time to kills and the regenerating health and all that kind of stuff. It's silly. All of the different abilities and the powers really don't seem necessary at all in the game. They could honestly just be equipment. There was no need for it. But I think it'll be fun, and I think that most people will not have an issue with any of the things that I'm talking about. And the sniping and shotgun gunplay definitely make up for it. And the burst on the M16 is crispy. And now you just got to look for a couple of the positives where you can, because there ain't a whole lot of them going down nowadays. But this has been the Game Thoughts, Thought, Humble Opinions, Troll Strategy. We love gaming. We love what it used to be, and we love the th to think about what it could be. And I'm not saying that you guys can't have your games. I'm just saying now it's gotten to the point where even the things that used to be for the realistic fan have been completely and utterly twisted. Ubisoft is completely doing the opposite of what any of us want. You go from Rainbow Six not having a campaign to them putting aliens in it, to the extraction coming out and flopping, to uh, still not having any word on the Division Heartland and all that kind of stuff going on. You got Ghost Recon Breakpoint coming out like an RPG and had to take six months to get itself fixed and there's still Terminators in it. We haven't played a Splinter Cell game in years. Where the hell is Sam Fisher? Why is he on Team Rainbow? That don't make sense. We need a, a reboot for the Tom Clancy uh, franchises as a whole. We need a pocket in console gaming for realistic players, or realistic shooter fans at least. And uh, we need multiplayers where everybody can't jump around like fucking rabbits. But yeah, pretty much player bases are always going to ruin games even if there are good concepts now. That is always going to be a thing because everyone wants to get a clip and no one knows how to help put their own flavor on. And most of the people don't realize all that jumping around doesn't matter if you're doing it at the wrong time and don't know why you're doing it. But I digress. Hope you guys have a good night, good day, wherever you're at. Keep on gaming. More inclusion. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Definitely recommend the snipers. Definitely recommend the M16. We'll see when the game comes out. Hopefully this isn't all we got for the shooters. Alright y'all. Enjoy. Got him back.